Hi, I'm Jordan Wilson with Caster Headquarters, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your stationary wire shelving, whether it's Metro, Eagle Wire, Uline, Global Industrial, or any other brand, with casters. There's two different options, a 3H threaded stem and a .846 threaded stem, depending on your weight capacity requirements. So there's two options, there's a 3H threaded stem and the .846. The 3H threaded stem is a lot easier and a lot quicker to install because all you would have to do is simply unthread the levelers that are on the bottom and then you would thread the 3H right into the hole. This one is a little bit harder to install. It's a little bit more time consuming and labor intensive because the grip ring is almost the same size as the inner diameter of the tubing and it does take a little bit of force to actually install these and a little bit of time. But I'll show you both options and then you can decide which caster is best for your application. If you decide to go with the 3H threaded stems, the first step is to lay the unit down and start unthreading the levelers on the bottom. If you come around this side, you can see that there's levelers that are threaded into the holes, the legs. You can simply unscrew them, and take them out. And then you grab the 3H threaded stem, insert in the hole, you grab the raceway right here, and then you would start threading and turning clockwise the casters into the, the hole. It's gonna become a little bit tighter towards the end, and you wanna screw this in until the raceway is flush with the base of the leg. That one's tight. Thread, it's not coming out. You can go left to right. That one's in as well. I'm gonna flip the unit. Some of them might be a little bit tight depending on the threads on the inside. Sometimes the threads can be damaged a little bit, but that one did go in all the way. And that's it, they're all installed. So we're gonna stand the unit back up. That was the installation of the 3X threaded stem casters. This thing's ready to rock and roll. It's gonna hold around 400 pounds or the casters itself will hold about 400 pounds. So if you're just store, storing light duty items, general supplies, this is gonna be more than enough capacity for your application. If your unit requires more weight capacity, we do have wire shelving casters. These have a 0.846 grip ring stem. Sometimes it's gonna be hard to install these because they have a friction ring or also known as a grip ring that's gonna stick out a little bit past the stem. What you can do is you can get some pliers, you can get needle nose, it doesn't really matter what kind of pliers you get, and you can grip the stem and you can squeeze it and you can bend it back just a little bit and compress it. Once you compress this just a bit, it's gonna squeeze back into that little sleeve and it's gonna be a lot easier to insert into the tubing. So to start, you would just line it up and insert it and you can get a rubber mallet or you could get a hammer and you can gently tap on the raceway or the top of the wheel. Then once you have all four installed in here, you can flip the unit over, you can flip the shelves over, if you decide to do it this way versus the 3 8 casters. And now you have a unit that's able to hold 1,200 pounds instead of 400 pounds, depending on the application. And this concludes the tutorial of how to convert your stationary wire shelving into a mobile unit. If you have any questions, please comment below. If this video helped, please give it a thumbs up. And I will post both of the links to both casters in the product description. Thank you.